So hello and welcome to another video of my PHP course. In this video, I'm going to cover the if, else and else if statement. Now these all statements are the conditional statements and these all statements are called the control structures. Now before diving into the details of the if, else and else if statement, let me explain you what these control structures are and what they do. Now control structures are statements or constructs that determine the flow of execution of a program. They allow developers to create conditions and loops that control which part of the code are executed and how many times they are executed. Now control structures are the fundamental concepts in all programming languages including PHP. Now the if, else and else if structures are some of the most commonly used control structures in programming language which is including the PHP. They allow developers to create conditional statements that determine which block of code are executed based on certain conditions. The if structure is used to execute the code if a condition is true, while the else structure is used to execute the code if the condition is false. The else if structure is used to add additional conditions and code blocks to the statement. Now let's start this video by talking about the if statement. So now Let's just type the if structure. So for typing the if structure, first of all, you have to type the if just like that. And this is the reserved keyword by PHP. And now after that, here in, uh, you have to type the opening and closing uh, parenthesis. And in between these parentheses, you have to type your condition. This condition could be true or false. So now in this case, I want to type 10 is equals to 10. And now this condition is true. After that, I have to put the opening and closing curly brackets just like that. Now this is the if keyword and here you have the opening and closing parentheses and inside those parentheses, here you have to type the condition. Now the condition is a Boolean expression that is evaluated as true or false. If the condition is true, the code block inside the curly brackets is executed. Otherwise, the code block is skipped this condition is true. So if I type something inside it, like the echo statement, and I type like this condition is true. Now this block of code will be executed because the condition that you are typing inside this block is true. So now let's just get back to the browser and I'm going to refresh the page and you will see the output here. As you can see, the condition is true. But suppose if the condition is false, as you can see, I'm comparing the 10 with 1. So 10 is equal to 1. It is not. Then this block of code that you have here will be ignored and the execution of the code continues like it will just type whatever you are typing after this. Like here, I'm going to type the echo statement and this is the code after the if statement. And now let's just get back to the browser again. I'm going to refresh the page and now as you can see, you are not able to see the code that I have typed inside the if block, this opening and closing curly brackets. You are seeing the code that I have typed after this, which is this one. So if the condition that you are typing here is not true, if it is, if it is false, then the code inside the if block will be ignored and the execution of the code continues after that. So that this is how it works. You can type any condition here that you like. Like you can just type the comparison operator just like I'm typing here or you can also type the other operators. So now I'm going to type the comparison operator of greater than. Now this is a greater than sign and now as you can see this condition returns true or false and that's why it is called a condition. Now as I said the condition is a boolean expression that is evaluated as true or false. So this expression will evaluate to true or false based on the value that you are specifying here. So now this is the 10. I'm checking if 10 is greater than 1. Yes, it is. So this block of code will be executed. And then after that, after the execution of this block of code, it will just uh, get out of this if block. And then after executing this code, it will just execute this code that you have here. And if I refresh the page, as you can see, this condition is true and after that it is just outputting this second line which is this is the code after the if statement. Now let's talk about the else statement. 
now let me create an example where i am going to check if the particular variable is like odd or even so now i'm going to create a variable here and i want to specify the value of this as like 10 and now let's just create the condition here first of all i need to type the num variable and then i will type this uh, condition which is the modulus operator and i will type 2 and equals equal to 0 now if this is true then the number is even so I'm, I'm gonna type the number num is even and if it is not then I will type the num is false so let's just type num is false I should type the odd here now if this condition evaluates to true it is checking for the it is checking for the remainder and if it is and, and if the remainder of this 10 is 0 then it is a it is an even number and if it is not then it is the then it is the odd number and now i'm going to refresh the page that just that just actually cut this code and let's just get back to the browser again so that you can easily see the output as you can see this is the even so the 10 is the even number according to this code and if I make some slight changes in it like if I make 11 now the remainder of this will be 1 and not the 2 and that's the reason why it will, it will be the odd number and I, if I just refresh the page as you can see it is saying that the 11 is odd now let's finally talk about the else if structure so now for creating the else if structure now if you want to create the else if structure that means you want to check for another condition so let me just create another thing here so if num1 is greater than like 20 then i will execute this if block and if it is not what i will do i will check for another condition so what i need to do i need to type the else if statement so first of all i need to type the else and then i need to type the if statement after the space just like that and now inside this i need to type another condition I will check if the num which is this variable is less than 20 then I will execute this block of code so now let's just create this block of code let, let's, try, let's type the opening and closing curly brackets just like that and inside this opening and closing curly brackets I want to type the second condition I want to type here let's just type this the then num is greater than 20 and if it is not then I will run this else if block and if the num is less than 20 as you can see the num the value of the num is 11 and yes it is less than 20 then I will execute this block of course so I want to type the num is smaller than 20 and if both conditions are false then I will execute this block of code and I will say inside it the num is neither less than 20 or nor bigger than 20 so now let's just get back to the browser and let's see the output i'm going to refresh the page as you can see the 11 is smaller than 20 and now it is just giving us the value the 11 is smaller than 20 because if you see here the value of the num is 11 so it is actually less than 20 and if i make it bigger than 20 like let me make it 23 now if the num is bigger than 20 the, then the code inside the if block will be executed which is this one and let's just get back to the browser refresh the page as you can see the the 23 is greater than 20 and yes it is and now suppose if if it is not greater than 20 or less than 20 if it is equal to 20 let me make it equal to 20 as you can see this condition will be evaluated to false and it will check for this condition now this condition will also be evaluated to false the reason for that is as you can see this is the num and this num is greater than 20 and it is not equal to 20 because i'm checking if num is greater than 20 it is not if num if num is smaller than 20 it is not it is equal to 20 so 20 is equal to 20 and not smaller to 20 
then it will just ignore these two block of codes like if and else if and it will just execute this code which is the else statement i'm gonna refresh the page and it will just give you the output the 20 is neither less than 20 nor bigger than 20 it is equal to 20 so now let me finally show you how this execution worked for the last time so first of all it will just check for the this condition that you have here and if this condition is true then all these other blocks that you have here will be ignored and the code inside this block will be executed and after the execution of this block of code all the other blocks of code that you have typed uh, with this if block will be ignored and the execution of the code will continues after that like if you have typed some code here like any code it could be a function it could be anything then that code will be executed and now suppose if this condition that you have here is false then what it will do it will just ignore this block of code and it will just ignore this code that you have typed here and it will just check for this condition in the else if statement if this condition is true then this block of code that you have here will be executed and now all the other conditions like if you want you can also type uh, like hundreds of else if statements so it doesn't matter in this example i'm only showing you one else if statement if you want you can just type the more else if statements like let me just do that so i'm gonna type the else if i'm gonna type num is equals equals to 20 and then i will just type the code here so i'm gonna type so i'm gonna type the echo the num is equals to 20 just like that now what it will do it will check for this condition the second condition and if it is true then the code inside this condition will be executed and all the other conditions will be ignored and similarly if this condition is false then this block of code that we have here will be ignored and it will check for another condition and if this condition is true the code inside this will be executed and otherwise it will be ignored and finally all the statements that you have typed in the if and else if statements are ignored and the else block will be executed so this is the block of code that will be executed inside this inside this let me type something like the num is not a valid number and now let's just cut this and let's just run this block of code final uh, for the last time as you can see the 20 is equals to 20 so i i have the value of this as 20 so it is executing this block of code which is here the num is equals to 20 so that's it for today's video guys i hope you found this tutorial on the if else and else if statements helpful and now you have a better understanding of the different conditions and control structures so that's it for today's video and i will see you in the next one